and welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Um, in this session, uh, we're going to go over kind of how to create some space, uh, your own galaxies, so to speak. Um, a lot of times you can um, have to have some outer space stuff that where you're cruising through space. And um, you could model each one of these little individual particles by themselves or something of that nature, but really that's almost an impossible task. So sometimes you just need a quick um, background or something that's going to show up in three-dimensional space um, as you're kind of cruising through space. So what we're going to be doing is looking at the uh, paint effects uh, for the galaxy today. And um, you find those in your rendering menu set under paint effects. And I'm going to show you just kind of the basics of setting up your own uh, galaxy uh, that you can cruise through. Now this is um, sort of a standard preset, but that has lots of variants um, that you can do with the colors and the opacity levels and, and just all sorts of stuff. So let's take a look at uh, the scene. Um, as you can see, I'm going to move this out of the way. As you can see right here, I have the paint effect stroke applied and I have it animated so that you know you what you see isn't really what you get because with paint effects um, we're basically a post-process rendering so um, it basically is something that happens after the fact and um, as you can see the the galaxies are kind of represented by those little sprites uh, or little tiny things uh, lines indicators of um, where your galaxies are so anyway, um, let's take a, a quick break down here and, and maybe just create a new scene and, and take a look at uh, what this looks like. If I were to do a render view of um, just this area right now, um, you can see where I'm pretty much zoomed out in space. Okay, so we're way out there. But if I were to run the animation a little bit, let's say we just run it into... Uh, maybe mid sequence here. It's about a 300 frame animation. So right about there, uh, if we do a quick render, um, you'll notice that it looks dramatically different. And so that is essentially what the render looks like at this point. So it's really a useful feature, and um, you're going to be using it a lot if you need to create some stuff in outer space. So let's get to it. Um, let's just create a new uh, a new scene. And we'll start from scratch. Um, okay, we'll get a new scene up there. Now, what we need to do is make sure you're in the rendering menu set. And on your um, renders, I'm going to bring this window over here. Make sure that you're not in Mental Ray, but you're in Maya software. Okay, because paint effect strokes um, work best with Maya software. Um, you can use Mental Ray, but you're going to have to convert all of your um, geometry and your strokes into basically polygons and retexture. And uh, it's a it's a whole different topic for a whole nother day. So, just to make things simple, stay with Maya software, and uh, that's about it. So, first of all, let's come up here into our paint effects, and let's go to the Get Brush mode. Now. When you go to get brush, you're usually going to get a visor that looks like this. Um, and it comes up with different examples of all these different materials that you can paint onto a scene. Well, today what we're going to be working with is our... Um, we're basically working with our space stuff. So um, I'm going to come in here and it's under galactic. Um, so if you go into your galactic folder, you'll find like some galaxies right here. Here's our main galaxy brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. If it doesn't highlight in yellow, uh, you may want to choose your Choose tool first from up here, and then hit your Galaxy tool, and now it's yellow, so that means it's active, so that's cool. I'm going to move this out of the way now. And on the um, grid down here, I'm just going to click Hold Down and just sort of work a, oh, just sort of a squiggly line across like that and let up on the mouse. As you can see, it painted a curve and that's cool it's what we want so now we can look over here and see that we have some various options um, right now I'm, I'm positioning a stroke in 3D um, and that's sort of how we'll do this tutorial and you'll notice that up here I have some choices so let's hit Galaxy 1 alright and take a look at Galaxy 1 this is the default setting and if we were to do say a quick render on this um, Galaxy 1 right here I'm going to call up my render view and do a quick render and I'll bring that over 
and we'll take a look at it. So as you can see, it doesn't show anything. Um, that was my render for here. And so let's just sort of tweak this a little bit to get it to show up right, because you're often the defaults in some of these are not going to be quite right. So let's work at it. Um, I'm going to basically move this up in 3D space a little bit. So I'm going to just bring that stroke up there. You know, that way we can see it a little better. And we may want to take a little bit different view on it, maybe something like that. Now, you'll notice that it has a global scale right here. That kind of is universal with all of these paint effects. We need to sort of adjust them in size for our environment. So right there, we've got quite a bit. Um, that's a little bit better. And let's move down here a little bit. I'm going to zoom in to that stroke a little bit. And let's take a look. I'll, um, I'll do a quick render. And now what you can see is it has all sorts of properties in there and they're starting to look okay. So let's take another, let's look at it again and maybe mess with our brush width a little bit. Let's sort of take this brush width up and um, let's also take this global scale up a bit. All right. And um, let's take another render. Uh, I'll go down here into my render view and let's see what a render does. Now, I'm going to switch my render setting um, for this. So um, basically, I'm, I'm going to go to my, um, my render settings here. And I'm going to set this just at a standard 640 by 480, which is, is cool. Um, you can set it to HD or something like that. And sometimes that gives you a little bit better if you, if you go to 720. Uh, for right now, I guess I'll just stay there. I thought it was on 720, so that's cool. All right. Now, another thing that you're going to notice um, when you're doing your render settings it, that's very important is in the Maya software section, you're going to want to make sure, and this is a absolute make sure, that you come down to your paint effects rendering options. And let's take a look at those real quick. What I've done is enable stroke rendering. Okay, so that's what we need to have checked in order to have these show up in our final render. Okay, and you can click over sample and that basically creates a little bit better look for um, for that. So, you know, we'll just leave it like that. Make sure that those are kind of checked like that and now we're good to go. Okay, so let's work at this a little bit. I'm going to just sort of make this window size a little smaller. Yeah, we'll go with something like that. Yeah, maybe a little smaller so we can kind of interactively do this. You're going to be using your render window a lot, so we'll just keep it open down here. And now let's um, let's come down here and maybe zoom in a little bit more and do another quick render and see what happens. Okay, now let's get a little closer on it so we can start working with uh, the colors. Um, right now this is set at default, and there we go. So that's kind of the color of what we're working with with this Galaxy One. Now, I'm going to come down here, and uh, you'll notice there's lots of different options. Um, for right now, what we're concerned with is sort of um, our shading and our tube shading. And maybe down here, we've got glow to think about. So let's uh, first look at our shading up here. Um, you'll notice that we have some, some colors here. Uh, color one is sort of set at a, a pale peach. So let's just mess with these. We don't really have to stay with anything, but I'm going to set that to a little deeper there, and we'll just do a quick render, see what things look like. You can't really tell when you start working with these what, what those are looking like. So anyway, that's, um, you know, you, it d makes a little bit of a difference. Now, let's also play with our tube shading, and let's come in here and maybe give that more of a deeper blue, and we'll do a quick render. And there it is. Um, I can see a little bit of difference. It might be hard to see on YouTube, um, but it is making a little bit of difference there. Um, let's say we bring our incandescence um, up a little bit on incandescence 2. Let's take a look at what that render looks like now. Okay, you don't see much difference, so that's, uh, that's you know, not going to be necessarily something you're, you're going to be concerned with there. But let's look at the incandescence, incandescence up here on our shading and bring it all the way down. And let's take another render. And you'll see where everything goes away. Well, that's because this is controlling a certain matter of um, amount of incandescence for, for this scene. So we'll go ahead and bring that up. 
and I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more I'll bring it up all the way and now we can see everything pretty good so let's come down here and take a look at our glow for a second let's change up the glow color and let's take the glow color to maybe something like a like a blue bright blue like that okay and now let's take another render now you can see where it's switching up to, to a lot more blue and if we want um, we can take the glow up a bit I'll go ahead and raise that glow a little bit and you can see where it starts to glow more let's just max the glow out and there you go so that's max out glow and um, you can you actually do a, a spread the glow out a little bit more we can also take the uh, glow up a bit from here but watch what happens when I start messing with that you'll notice it gets really wacky okay so it just depends on what effect you're after so that's kinda what that's all about alright so uh, there you go um, now we've created a uh, we have a blue universe let's let's come over here and I'm gonna come into the the paint effects again so I'm gonna basically zoom out a little bit here we'll go to paint effects and we'll go to get brush and I'm gonna go ahead and choose that uh, galaxy brush again I'll click on my chooser click on that it's active when it's yellow I'm gonna move that over and now we'll make another one just sort of squiggled about down here all right and now I'm gonna move that up a bit and there we go and I'm gonna come over here and basically look at my galaxy 2 and bring it up to the top and I'm gonna bring that global scale way up and maybe take the brush width up a bit and then we'll go down here and let's change the color of that one um, for the moment let's look at our glow color and let's just switch that glow color to something more like a yellow all right okay now we're ready to take another render so let's take a render with it set like that as you can see I'm getting some yellow in there let's uh, zoom in here a bit more on it and let's see what we can do I'm gonna take another render and there it is so now it's intermingling with the blue and I got a, a nice kind of goldish looking thing there so play around with that that's the concept a quick concept of creating uh, one of these uh, universes and uh, galaxies and they're real fun to play around with so really it's that simple so just play around with some of these controls in here and find out what they do and that is your basic paint effects and what you can do is look over here on your outliner and you'll notice that stroke galaxy one that's my first one that I created and uh, there's the curve that it rests on here's my stroke for galaxy two and um, here's the curve and so you know essentially that's where you'll find them you can look in your tabs up here and there's my galaxy two and now I can mess around with these uh, the glows and the spread and stuff so there you go that's just a quick paint effects tutorial and remember um, you're not going to see it quite clearly um, as it's in the scene here it's just going to look kind of dumb like that but you know it's a post-process effect and you know you can now zoom through zoom through space okay so great i hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and um, get working on it and practice and have a lot of fun and we'll do some more paint effects tutorials a little bit later because there's a ton of things that you can do with paint effects and this is just sort of a a, a standard thing that you're going to use for for space scenes so all right so there you go good have a great day read a book and uh, we'll catch you on the next tutorial and thanks for watching